The Sheet Metal Sketch Bend provides a way to create basic and more complex bending operations on sheet metal. For example, we'll select our top face here to use as our sketching plane. If there's no sketches created or selected, you can actually select a face and draw your own sketch line. For example, we'll just draw a straight line in this case across our part. And we'll hit Finish Shape and you'll now be presented with all the sketch bend operation options. For example, first you need to fix, pick the fixed geometry to where, where you will bend from. For example, we'll select on this side of this to bend this flap up. You can select to bend all bend lines. If you have multiple sketch lines, it'll bend all those with these default setting properties. If you uncheck this, you can manually select them one by one. If you want some lines to bend, some lines you don't want to bend, you can uncheck that option and manually select. And even if you have all bend lines selected, you can also select individual ones to change individual properties down here. I'll give an example of that in a minute. But when you're in your settings, you can change things like where to bend from, whether it's center, smooth, inside, outside, bend, or, uh, bend type, or bend line types, the angle, and the bend, bend, minimum bend radius, or you can choose your own radius as well. In our case, we'll just choose a 90 degree, and since we're on our top face here, a positive will bend up. If we put a flip direction, it will bend down from that face. In our case, we'll just go ahead and bend up and go ahead and hit OK in this case, and you'll see our flap bend up. Again, if you select your sketch bend and actually pick a sketch out here, you can actually notice, notice that it already knew there was a sketch on that face, so it didn't actually draw a sketch plane for us. You can also choose to draw, create a new sketch if you like, but if there's a sketch on the face that you pick, it knows that it's there, and you can start picking the sketch directly in this case we want this sketch our fixed geometry again we're going to use this as our our fixed face and in this case we can do all the bend lines bend and we want to bend one of them up and one of them down in this case we'll bend the one of these on our left hand side we'll bend that one up and so we'll keep that one as as non-selected sorry we'll just deselect that so we don't have to select that one it'll bend automatically up at 90 this one we want to bend down, so we'll select that, and notice it'll be in our selected bend line properties. In this case, we can tell it to go ahead and flip its bend direction. So this one will bend down, and this one will bend up. If we go ahead and hit OK, and we'll see that operation go. And this is a nice way to get a corner a bend on your sheet metal, which is uh, kind of quite a bit difficult to do manually. This is one usage of the sketch bend. Another usage that you can use is to rebuild uh, sheet metal from uh, DXF, for example. For example, we have a sheet metal part here that has some bend lines on it. This is our final part where you can see things are bending up and down and up. In a lot of these cases we have some moderate conditions. But this may be something that was created in a 2D application or some other program that you want to recreate in IronCAD. You can basically just start with a stock. You can go to its sheet metal feature and edit its cross section. And we're not going to use the block so we can just select that and delete it. And we can go ahead and import our sketch. In our case this is a sheet metal DWG file. We're going to go ahead and import that. In this case, we want to just go ahead and import everything but our bend lines. We'll just do the outer boundary for our base and go ahead and hit OK. And this one will be our model units. And until it's imported for us, let's just go ahead and move this down to our origin. Let's say we use this as our center point. And we'll move that down to our origin there. And hit OK. And hit Finish. So that will give us our base. Now we need to import a sketch again for our bend lines. We can just basically draw a sketch on this face. And we'll just use a plane and put the origin point down here so we'll have a, a consistent location to use. Hit OK. Again, import that same sketch inside of here because this time we need to use the actual bend lines. So we'll import everything but the uh, center lines in this. We don't need that. We'll just take the outer boundary for reference to position it and then we just want the bend lines. We'll hit OK. Again, it's our model units in this case. We'll select everything. Again, move it down from our center to our center. Now that we have that, we can just go ahead and select. We don't want these holes, and we don't want this outer boundary. So we'll just delete all that, and we just have our bend lines. And we'll finish our sketch. Again, we just now enter our sketch bend, and we'll select our face. And our sketch is going to be this sketch. And our Location to bend is our middle face of our sketch. 
In our case, we want all the bend lines to bend up 90 degrees for majority of these, except for some of these, these outer cases and this middle case need to bend down. So in this case, we're going to say flip it, we're going to go down 90 degrees, and then we can just simply just pick all the ones that we want to go in that direction and hit OK, and we should get our sheet metal part. Now we have a full sheet metal part that just has our stock and our sketch bin, which you can always edit these, the sketch to make modifications to that, and you can also edit the operations as well. In our case, this is now a fully sheet metal part. It, of course, will unfold, and you can take that into the drawing inside of IronCAD.